Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercomedy, back with another Dokkan battle video. So we just got the official details for the STR Super Saiyan Blue Kaokan Goku on the official Dokkan Global Twitter page. And uh, I gotta say, he's looking really freaking good. Now, as far as the release date, people have been asking, so uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm pretty sure it's right after the world tournament ends. So literally, like, as the world tournament ends, this banner will drop. We still don't know exactly what the banner will look like. I did make a prediction video of what I think the banner will look like. And uh, honestly, guys, I really hope I'm wrong because based on my prediction, it's not going to be a very... A good value banner for me personally now it could be a very good banner for some newer players or some for some people that are missing a lot of those units but um, generally speaking I'm not expecting the banner to be super OP but I could be wrong I could be wrong so I hope I am wrong on that case or in that case and uh, without further ado guys let's jump into the details and see what this guy is all about so uh, first things first these are his stats I'm pretty sure with no orbs invested so 12,490 attack 6,063 defense and 10,900 hp so for um a free dupe unit or actually not even free dupe just no investment zero percent 12,000 attack is pretty damn good which means that when he gets when he's rainbowed he's gonna have around what 15,490 attack or is it even more i think str units get more than 5,000, right either way he's gonna have a good amount of attack at rainbow status and uh, moving on now to his leader skill, he is a dual category leader, guys, representatives of Universe 7, so the first non-LR leader for that category, or Universe Survival Saga category, key plus 3, HP uh, plus 130%, and attack and defense plus 170%, which I really like because that means that not only is the team going to be hitting really hard, it's going to be tanking pretty well too with that 170% defense. And, um, I mean, here's the thing, like... <laughs> If you think about it, uh, I'm pretty sure like 99% of the units in the representatives of Universe 7 category um, are in the Universe Survival Saga category. There might be like one or two exceptions, but uh, generally speaking, like the Universe Survival Saga category pretty much covers all the units in the representatives of, Univ of Universe 7. So um, even though he's a dual category leader, it's not really that big of a deal. I do wish that he was leading a new category as well, but um, it is what it is. Not much you can do about that, right? So leader skill is good, but no new category, which is unfortunate. Uh, next up are his links. So his links, Godly Power, Warrior Gods, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Tournament of Power, Over in a Flash, and Fierce Battle. I know what you guys are all thinking. No prepared for battle. It sucks. It sucks. I wish he had prepared for battle. Um, it is the most common key link among uh, top tier units, essentially, right? So uh, definitely missing prepare for power or pre sorry, prepare for battle. It's late. I'm I'm sleepy, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, so that's unfortunate. But overall, his links are pretty good, man. He's, he's got Super Saiyan. He's got uh, here's battle. He's got over in a flash. And also because he's on, he's generally going to be run on a representative of Universe 7 or Universe Survival Saga team, he's going to be getting Tournament of Power as a key link quite often, so he shouldn't have too many issues with key even without Prepare for Battle, so I think it's fine. And as far as categories go, uh, it's only showing four here, I don't know if there's more later on, but we can see representative of Universe 7, Universe Survival Saga, Pure Saiyans, Realm of Gods, um, and maybe, then there should be more, there should be more. Um, we don't see anything else, but I'm sure he's in more categories. And, uh, passive is to fight the best fight. Passive skill effect is attack and defense plus 59%, and then, plus additional attack and defense plus 10% with each attack received up to 59%, which maxes out, of course, at 6 attacks, which really isn't too hard to get because... I mean, there's going to be a lot of cases where you have at least like two or three attacks stacked up in one slot, right? So if, you, if you're if you trying, it shouldn't take you more than maybe two to three appearances to get that going. Or like basically the max boost. And then plus an additional attack plus 59% and attacks effective against all types when performing a super attack if HP is 59% or less once only. So... um. 
I don't think it's perfect uh, passive by any means. It's not a perfect passive, but it's a good one. We should be getting a good amount of attack, good amount of defense, and then after we fall below 59% HP, he's going to be hitting super, super hard for that one attack. But even without that extra 59% and attacks effective against all types, um, he should still be hitting pretty damn hard, especially when you take into consideration the next thing we're going to find out about, which is his super attack right here greatly raises attack and causes immense damage to enemies. So guys, he stacks attack infinitely and it's a greatly, it's a great increase to attack, which I believe is a 50% increase every single time he supers. I think that's, I think that's the same as the AGL Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku as well after he gets his Extreme Z Awakening, right? I, I think, I think. So either way, it stacks infinitely, guys. So uh, after a couple supers, and after getting hit a couple times, he's going to be doing stupid, stupid damage. Now, as far as a defensive, uh, from the defensive side, um, he's not going to be bad by any means. He's not going to be, you know, taking a ton of damage. He's not going to be tanking super well either, but he's going to be respectable. All right, he's going to be tanking respectably. And from a damage perspective, man, it's, just, I mean, <laughs> he's going to be doing a lot of damage. He's going to be uh, among the hardest hitters, or at least the hardest hitting TURs in the game, um, and I don't think that all this information makes him the best TUR, at least on paper. I don't feel like he's going to be better than STR Cooler, but as I predicted, man, he's in the top three, top five, most likely. I mean, I would need some more time to process it to think about the actual ordering of the TURs, but he's definitely up there. He is really, really good, especially from a damage output standpoint. And uh, active skill, of course, we already knew the details, but I'll tell you guys again. Uh, Spirit Bomb can be activated when HP is 59% or less uh, with another three or more representatives of Universe 7 category allies on the team once only. And the effect is that it causes ultimate damage, which is the same as pretty much any other super attack style active skill, but it also raises the attack of allies by 30% for one turn. It does apply to him too. So when you fall below 59%, you're going to get that extra 59% attack boost, attacks effective against all types, and then a 30% attack buff from the active skill. So that, that turn you use this active skill is just going to be crazy because the actual active skill is doing damage and then he also buffs himself and then he's going to be supering after that on the same turn with the 59% attack boost with the 30% boost from his active skill and attacks effective against all types and his allies are going to get the 30% attack boost as well so uh, that's just going to be a stupid stupid amount of damage in that turn especially if you're running him with the Extreme Z Awakened AGL Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku which I think we're going to get by the way on global for at least part two of the Christmas celebration. I mean, it's not confirmed by any means, but I feel like it's likely. I feel like there's a good chance. Um, so if you're running those two together and this guy's like doing the active skill, buffing the rotation and then buffing himself and then also getting the additional attack boost, the 59% attacks effective against all types, dude, it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy. So um, I have no issues with him. I don't think he's perfect. There is no perfect unit though in the game. I mean, some might argue that LR Kale and Khalifla is the perfect unit, but even they have their limitations, right? So, um, you know, I, I didn't expect him to be perfect. I think his active skill could have had better restrictions, you know, less uh, restrictive restrictions, but for sure, but it's really not bad. It's not gonna be hard to meet um, at least on certain teams like Universe Survival Saga or Representative Universe 7 obviously or even what else um, maybe Pure Saiyans I haven't really thought about too much actually for other teams but there are a few teams where that condition is going to be pretty easy to meet so I don't think it's going to be too hard to get that active skill off either and overall I just I love it man I think he looks awesome let's take a look at the active skill or sorry not the active skill well active skill and also super attack animations real quick right here so I'm gonna shut up now you guys probably have seen it already but um, this is a better look because we're not just looking at the tiny you know screen on the Doka now program where you actually can see it full screen now so here we go I'm gonna shut up enjoy Lend me your energy! 
energy! Yeah, that's great. <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, some of the best animations in the game, in my opinion, no question. And uh, I dig it, guys. I, re I really, really dig it. I love everything about this unit. I love um, Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken, just as a character, obviously, as a form. But I also love uh, his details. I love his animations. Um, he is a must summon for me. I don't think he's a must summon for everybody, especially if you have... LR Goku and Frieza, and also a Universe Survival Saga leader like Jiren, for example, or Tech Hit. But um, I, I think he's definitely worth summoning for. It, it also comes down to the banner. Once we see that, I can say more definitively whether or not it's worth. But just based on what I see right now, the animations, the details that we just got from the Dokkan Twitter, I think he's going to be worth it. I think he's going to be great. I think he's going to be putting out a lot of really really crazy numbers as far as damage goes so uh, I'm, I'm definitely excited for him um, once we get more details I will definitely keep you guys posted once of course he becomes available for a showcase I'll be bringing you guys that showcase so we know for sure how good he is but uh, that's gonna do it for today's video guys that's my opinion on the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku that's dropping on global in literally like a day from now and uh, Get hyped, guys, because I think he's going to be really good. Anyways, let me know your opinions in the comments down below what you guys think about him. Um, maybe your opinion differs from mine. That's okay. It's okay if we have different opinions. I don't mind that. And uh, as always, if you guys enjoyed today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger, with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.